Hey, what is going on guys? Dopes Wonder here, and I figured that I would fill you in on kind of what I got going on. I mentioned this briefly, I believe, in like my past video or the video before that, but the main project I'm working on right now is getting my 3D printer back up and running, and it's been down for like five or six months now. I have the DaVinci 1.0 printer, and basically when I went to upgrade my hot end uh, six months back um, to a higher end third party uh, hot end, I started getting uh, errors, basically saying decoupling errors, and I tried all sorts of things from making sure, uh, swapping out wires, making sure that all the voltages were reading correctly, could not find any issue with anything. So I put the 3D printer in my closet, left it there for like six months, I kind of like messed with it a little bit trying to get it to work, nothing seemed to work. So. I was basically planning for this Christmas that just passed to build another 3D printer from the ground up. And not that I'm not going to be doing that, but I decided that I want to give this 3D printer one last go. And the best way or the only other thing I could think of was to completely swap out the main board or the logic board that controls everything. Because I know for a matter of fact that at least a good amount of parts in that 3D printer is still good. Like the hot the hotbed uh, still works fine. The stepper motors still work fine. The lights still work fine. The extruder was still working fine. So I mean, I have a lot of the core components. So basically, I went ahead and decided that I'm just going to go with the Ramps 1.4 Arduino combo to basically power this machine. And I got the electronics in the mail um, two days ago. So basically, you're going to be seeing a ton of videos as I kind of update over the next um, days, weeks, month here as I work on this project because it is definitely the primary focus. I'm obviously going to have like my little newsy update videos and other stuff, but this is like the primary project that is like just on the forefront right now. I want my 3D printer. I want a 3D printer. I miss being able to print and create and it needs to, it needs to happen. So basically what I've done so far is this is the um, stock default main board or logic board that is in the DaVinci printer. I went ahead and unplugged everything, um, all the power cables, all the extruders and, and thermistors and all that good stuff, pulled it out. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be wiring it all up and installing it to this bad boy in place of where the screen one used to be. So uh, basically I ordered this off of Amazon. It's got um, two boards. You've got the bottom board here, which is going to be the uh, Arduino, but it's actually a clone. It's called the Arduino Mega R3. And then on the top, they actually connect to each other through a bunch of pin headers. Um, but on the top, we have the Ramps 1.4 board, which basically connects all of the 3D printer parts to, and the Arduino on the bottom is what you write the code to, which um, controls all the things on the software side. It communicates with the Ramps board. Um, so the kit I got came with the clone of the Arduino Mega, it came with the Ramps 1.4, it came with um, 1, 2, 3, 4 clone stepper drivers. So basically, what I've done so far again, is I have cut the cables on the 3D printer and um, wired them up to the plugs to power this, and that worked fine so far. Um, I went ahead and hooked up the clone Arduino to Arduino's uh, legit software, and I was able to write Marlin, which is the code or the software that I will be running um, and that was able to verified and compiled and uploaded successfully so that's good um, what else have I done <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. Um, I haven't done a whole lot actually besides from that um, besides from plug in these stepper motors um, I don't know how well you can see this uh, you won't be able to see it at all probably but um, basically I read when I took the when I bought this uh, kit off of Amazon there was a lot of people um, it had like mixed reviews. Some people saying it was really good. Some people saying that parts of it didn't work, um, and like the Arduino clone didn't work. So basically, the only things that I've noticed so far, the soldering looks completely fine on it. I haven't seen any issues with that. But when I came to connect the ramps and the Arduino board, the pin headers did not line up. So I had to use kind of some brute force to get it to push all in together. Um, so that was definitely like I guess quality control, or uh, yeah, I guess quality control. Um, or one thing to note. Secondly. Um, you can't really see this, but right here on the aux three section of the ramps board, um, two of the four pins are completely pushed sideways, touching the pins on the side of them. So uh, basically, all I have to do is like either take my nail or a flathead, and I can bend them back. That won't really be a problem. And I actually don't know that I need to use that port specifically. Um, but those are two things that I think are worth mentioning. But again, the Arduino clone was able to. Um, get the code written to without any problems, so that's a good sign. 
And uh, again, the ramps board looks solid so far. I basically just installed these four little heat sinks that it included. So hopefully this will work out um, because again, I think I paid 40 bucks for everything and that is a really good deal. And um, so, you know, it was worth taking a chance on the clone. So um, yeah, basically right now I just ordered um, uh, jumper, jumper cables or jumper headers uh, for the different pins here versus like having to directly solder the stepper motors to the pins. So I'm waiting on that. It'll be coming here on New Year's, uh, New Year's Day, Eve, Eve, Thursday, Eve. So New Year's Eve on Thursday. Um, I don't know when I'll upload this. I might not upload this till after that fact. But uh, so once I get that, the next step is going to be for me to start wiring up the stepper motors one by one and hooking this up to my computer and testing them to make sure I get feedback. So it's going to be a very long process. Again, I will update you guys as I progress through this and any kind of speed bumps I run into or any issues I have, I will be sure to let you guys know. So that way those people that are interested, um, hopefully this guide or this, I don't know if I'll call this a guide because it's not, but this like journey slash venture you'll be able to go through. And if there is any issues or things you get stumped by, you can either ask or um, I will answer them through, it's like something that I was stumped by as well. So on that note, I will end this video. Hopefully you guys are excited. I know a lot of you guys were big on my 3D printing videos. And again, I really want to bring them back to my channel because I am fascinated with it. And I've got the CNC machine and I want to get the whole CAD software going and all that good shit. So anyways, Dope Swander, I am out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Peace. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.